it's gone. Welcome into another video on the channel and for today's video it's just going to be a little bit of a news update. It appears that LG has now retracted software update 13.30.50 and for those of you that are new to the channel or wondering what I'm talking about, this would be the software update for the C2 and G2 lineup that included the upgrade to WebOS 23. Now I've seen enough comments on my update video talking about this update breaking so many features on their TVs that this lets me know that LG has probably been fielding a ton of chats and inbound calls with people complaining about big features on their TVs being broken, broken after updating to 13.30.50. I have seen this once before. There was a time uh, a while ago that I recall an update being pushed to my TV over the air. It popped up on my TV, but I didn't install the update at the time because I like to do the update video for you and install it while I'm doing the video to show you if there's gonna be any problems during installation, and then if there's gonna be any immediate problems after installing the update. So I said, I'm gonna go ahead and wait until the next day to install the update. I got up the next day, I turned on the TV and noticed that it didn't have the message letting me know there was a soft software update available. And I thought that was strange. So then I went ahead and went to the website and sure enough, it had disappeared. And based on this speculation that LG has fielded a number of calls and texts talking about features being broken and complaints, it is my opinion that what's going on here is they have decided to pull the update offline and also pull the update from being pushed out over the air until they can get these issues resolved. And the fact that they're going from WebOS 22 to WebOS 23 with this update, it makes sense to think that there was going to be some things, there was going to be some things broken when it comes to features because you're upgrading the entire OS. But is it acceptable that they would push out an update that changes so much about a consumer's TV that it breaks major features on the television, making part of probably why they even purchased the TV irrelevant now? They can't use the feature? Why would you even push that out? And I can tell you personally, I was not reaching out to LG every single day going, hey, when are you going to upgrade WebOS 22 to 23? When am I going to see that upgrade? When are you going to push it out? So it's my opinion that there's probably not a long line of people that own these TVs that were pushing to get the new OS. So from my vantage point, LG pretty much kind of forced this on us. And me personally on my game room C2, those of you that are subscribed and follow the channel know, I've pulled it completely offline. And I'd say it's very likely that the last software version that that C2 is ever going to see in its lifetime is this one you're looking at on the screen, which is 04.40.93. And judging by the comments on my videos, I think there's quite a few of you that are going to do the same. Now, there was a number of you in the comments section that appear to have went ahead and upgraded because that's how I know that there was a lot of problems with the update. And a lot of you have shared those problems you've encountered since upgrading the OS. So LG, that's extremely disappointing that number one, in my opinion, you kind of forced it on us. So if you want to be on the most recent software version and up in your TV to be the most updated it can be, you're now going to be forced to have WebOS 23 on it. But having said that, I find it extremely disappointing that not only are you forcing that update on us, you're forcing those of us who don't want that upgrade to take our TV completely offline. What happens to the consumer that utilizes the, the apps on the TV for their content consumption? They go to the home screen, they pull up Netflix, they pull up whatever media content consumption app they use, and that's how they consume their content. Now they're faced with a choice of having to leave their TV online so they can consume their content on the apps that they pay a subscription fee for, 
or take the, the TV completely offline and go out and purchase a separate device like an Apple TV 4K or an Nvidia Shield or a Roku, something like that, you're forcing consumers to have to make that decision because your updates are breaking their TVs for what they bought it for. I find this extremely disappointing and I'm personally impacted by this because on one of my displays, I went ahead and upgraded the WebOS 23. Now, I will say that I did it more in the name of science than for personal gain as far as new features. It was more to find out you know, what happens if I upgrade it and can I still do certain things on the TV. And if you're new to the channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell right now because if you are somebody who likes to wait to update their TV to find out either A, what comes with it, B, does it break certain things that I use, I'm the person that up that installs these updates on day one, and that's even before they're pushed over the air to my TV. I actually manually install it with a USB drive because I want to go in and test certain things. So if you find that interesting, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the bell. But anyhow, this, this, up, this video is more of a news update video for you. Um, as you can see here on the web page, I'm actually on the software and updates page for my 77C2. And as you can see here, software versions 13.30.50. So anyway, uh, my spec, like I said at the beginning, my speculation here is they've went ahead and pulled it and they're going to be doing a lot more testing and they're going to be working on some fixes to the broken things now that have come with that. So my anticipation is there's a chance that by the time you watch this video that a new version of it will have already been pushed out and I'll probably get some comments letting me know, hey, you know, your video doesn't make sense. They've already pushed out this update. I understand that fully. But for those of you that follow my channel and see my videos day one, I'm letting you know that it does appear, as you could see on the website, that they're no longer pushing that update. So if you're somebody who saw this update pop up on your TV in the last couple of days from the time of filming this video and you were holding off, maybe you were waiting to see my video to see what was going on, it's probably not going to be available for you to update. So that's probably a good news situation for you because those of us like myself that updated day one are now faced with a wait and see on what's going to happen. That's going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, you found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button so it gets circulated out to more people. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, you enjoy this kind of content, you want to stay up to date, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. And as always, until the next one.